That's a good camera shot. I don't dwell on aging. We'd like to hear from you what exactly you'd like to get from this whole group today. Uh, what a, a thumbs up. They picked up on things for sure that are kind of frustrating at times that probably are still frustrations on some level that it's still not super serious to him with like the, what, what, you haven't done the what, the living will? You did the living will, but you haven't done the, the power of attorney yet or any of that stuff. I offered to buy it for him too for Christmas. To offer to buy him the, to do a living trust and to do, set up his estate. Let's just that. talk about the the documentary. Well, that's how I felt about it. I don't want because talk we talked about, about that. You, I don't want to talk about what we should do and this and that crap. Let's talk. We'll about see here. So that yeah. So it picked up on that right there. What we're talking about right now. Oh, oh you got to get the end of the chair. Roger, do you think that doing the? I know you don't want to talk about these things, so I won't talk about them for too long. But uh, do you think going through all these experiences made having these conversations with Trey easier? I think there'll be people out there that are in the- No, he's asking what? about you. Is it easier for you, not other people? Is it easier for you after going through it? To do what? Just like we're like talk about the end of life stuff. Like right oh. now, like talking about setting up oh. a trust. Um, you setting up a trust and things like that. Setting up a will, doing a living will, a power of attorney. about it now well i don't even i don't think about it so i the answer i guess would be no that it didn't really well, sort of it, make a change for you it what? seemed to eric it did seem to in the moment it yeah. seemed like there was a flash of like acceptance like that day and a couple after a couple of those things he was really willing and like he was able to reflect and say yeah i could see why we need to do that or i could see why this should be significant but then after the documentary was over it kind of went back into routine and then denial in a way yeah this uh, this is really interesting <laughs> so we asked everyone what they would want their care to look like if they couldn't care for themselves i did a trust and a living will and a power of attorney and hired that all done by an attorney did you do that not long after the production yeah yeah recently? pretty soon afterwards it motivated me right away i took it serious what you guys said about it and i, I thought i wouldn't want to be a burden on my family members so yeah like i went through the process of like what would happen if i was in a coma what would happen if I were to be half aware, you know, what would happen if I were to be paralyzed, who I would want, like those questions, those deep questions that you have to really go through when you're aging. Can we ask Dre if there's anything he'd like to add? Takes two Advil every day. That's always concerning to me. I'd okay. like to know what impact that has on his health. Good question. Like, over the last, since we did that documentary, I had some problems and I thought it was rheumatoid arthritis when I went to my primary physician and, and I told him that I was taking that Advil and I haven't taken it now for how long? And uh, I still have some, but it wasn't rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know what it was. That's what's changed for me since we did the documentary. My favorite moment by far was when I said, your legs cramp up at night. And he goes, <laughs> I'll bet that's to get a cramp out. You could. Because this guy's always cramping in the middle of the night. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was just watching my dad in relation to some of the other people there, seeing how his flexibility. Oh, that's good. Oh. I don't that know. For me, it was, it was walking out uh, when we were talking together, walking together outside the, after we had the hospital visit. It's hard stuff to talk about. <laughs> I told you I'll take care of you, though. <laughs> 